Uh, before uh, entering the patient's room, I'm going to prime the um, IV medication and the IV uh, tubing. Okay, we have uh, 0 0.9 percent sodium chloride uh, IV, and that is correct. And we have uh, primary tubing, which is what I need. Okay, and now I would uh, check my medication against the MAR for the um, right patient, the right time, the right dose, the right route, and the right medication. So, okay, I'll get my tubing out. And beforehand, I'm going to make sure my tubing is clamped. Sterility. Okay. I've attached it. I didn't touch anything. So now I'm going to hang it. And squeeze for my medication. I'm going to take it and now I'm going to prime my IV tubing just to get all the air bubbles out. Okay. There are no air bubbles present now, so I'm good. I'm going to round. I clamped it closed and now I'm going to take my alligator clip and open it and take this off careful not to touch the top of it since it is sterile take my alligator clip careful not to touch that port because it's sterile and connect it okay. and now I'm ready to enter the patient's room Hello, Mr. Jones. My name is Shelby, and I am your student nurse today, and I am here to uh, start your IV and, your, uh, and give you your IV medication. And before we get started, can you tell me your name and your date of birth for me? Okay, thank you. And now I'm going to close the curtain for your privacy. And now I would wash my hands. Okay, Mr. Jones, before we get started, do you have an arm that you prefer? Have you ever gotten an IV before? No, you haven't? Okay, good. Well, I'm going to do your uh, left your left hand, or your left arm, and that's what I'm going to use today. And, yeah, so I'm going to look at your veins. Okay, I see this vein. This is a good, smooth uh, vein, and that's the one I'm going to use today. And, um... Do you have any allergies I need to be aware of? Any skin prep solution allergies such as Benadine or Chloroprep? No? Okay, good. So that is the uh, vein I'm going to use. I'm going to um, get my everything set up real quick. I'm going to prep my IV start kit. Because it is a clean procedure, I do not need sterile gloves. Um, I have my techno techoderm, my gauze. My tape. So I'm going to prep my tape. extension set. I'm going to loosen the cap on my syringe. And now I'm going to open it. Careful 
not detach the port because it is sterile. Connect. Okay, and now I'm going to remove the cap of my extension set. Careful not to touch the port, and I'm going to place it back in so I don't break sterility. So everything's good, and now I'm going to apply your Technoderm. <coughs> or your Technoderm, <laughs> your tourniquet, Mr. Jones. Okay, you might, it's going to feel a little tight, so. Okay. And now I'm going to apply clean gloves. Are you doing okay, Mr. Jones? Good. You did say you weren't allergic to anything, right? No allergies, no skin prep allergies. Okay, good, just making sure. Okay, now I'm going to take an alcoholic wipe. Front pad. I'm going to clean the site and give it a few, uh, a couple si or a few minutes to dry. Okay, and I am going to be using a Blue 22 uh, cannula for this IV because of the vein size. I can use a 22 gauge cannula. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'm going to get started. I'm going to open it up. Okay, I'm going to make sure my uh, needle is bevel up. It is bevel up, and so you're going to feel a slight pinch. I'm going to go in at a 10 to 30 degree angle. Okay, I see flashback, so now I'm going to flatten and go an eighth of an inch. Okay, and now I'm going to put in my cannula. Good, I'm going to occlude it. Take my needle out and put it in the sharps container. And now I'm going to pop my, uh, occlude, or attach my extension set. Still occluding it. Twist it on there. Okay, good. And now before I flush, I'm going to pop my tourniquet. Remove my hand, and now I am flushing the IV. Okay, now I'm going to take it and remove it. And now I would um, put this in the sharps container as well. Okay, Mr. Jones, everything looks good. I'm going to apply my tape now. Blue cannula. Okay. Now. Okay. And everything looks good. And now I'm going to attach my IV. So I'm going to take this. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to apply your technoderm. Okay, and now I would uh, time, date, initial, and put the gauge size of the um, on the Tegnoderm and attach it. Okay, and now I'm going to take my alcohol prep pad, clean the port. And now I'm going to attach it, careful not to touch anything, do not break sterility. Okay, it is attached, and now I'm going to tape it to your arm, Mr. Jones. Okay, everything 
of looks good, and now I would start my um, IV. I would open it up and start it. Okay, now it has been. Um, I'm just going to get all of my stuff out from Mr. Jones, clean up a little bit. Okay, and now um, it has been several days, and I would. Now I'm going to discontinue my IV. I would close the IV fluid to make sure uh, everything was stopped. It is stopped, so now I'm going to remove my tape. How are you doing, Mr. Jones? Good. Okay. Remove my tape from your arm. And now, gauze. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to remove it. You might feel a slight pinch. Okay. Um, now I'm just applying pressure, and now I would put a Band-Aid over it. The cannula is intact, so everything is good, Mr. Jones. Okay, now I would apply a Band-Aid if you needed one. And now um, I'm going to take everything, roll it up in my glove, and dispose of it per my uh, institution's policy. Thank you.